Hey guys, this is Fuller, and welcome to another new Hearthstone Heroes. This time we're revisiting one of the old, old heroes I did, the Dragonite, rebalancing and improving the class as a whole. This will all be fully playable in the mod I'm working on, check the description to find out more about that. Alright, let's get straight into it. Firstly, the theme for the old Dragonite, I just made up a character, but some of you guys suggested Raytheon. So it's now him, the son of Deathwing, a very powerful black dragon who's not corrupted by the old gods. In WoW, he's an NPC who crafts rogue weapons. He's a critical character to the whole Warlords of Draenor expansion storyline. As for the class design, it's heavily inspired by Ramp Druid, so lots of huge minions and mana acceleration cards. Obviously quite a few dragons, I also renamed him to Dragon Prince as having Death Knight and Dragonite clashed a bit, and he is the son of the most powerful dragon ever. Spellwise, we have daggers, armor, dragon flame, and lastly, the special class mechanic, which I borrowed from the Blood Mage hero. It's very similar to Choose One for Druid. It's called Empower. Instead of picking between two different effects, you choose between two mana costs. So it reads like this Empower, do something, or pay extra mana and do something better. It will become much more clearer when you see the cards. And as for the Blood Mage, I have something very special planned for that, don't worry. Moving on to the hero, here it is, it's Raytheon. You can compare him to Druid and Rogue here. He has the glowing dragon eyes, and I'll have to ask one of you guys to make a custom skin for him. Alright, on to the hero power. Now remember I said he's an NPC who crafts daggers. Well, to differentiate the class from Druid, I thought the rogue hero power would actually be perfect and I wanted to keep it fairly simple. So here it is, Craft Dagger. For two mana, equip a 1-2 weapon. This is the only hero power so far I've made that's identical to one in Hearthstone. So it's more efficient for ball clear as you get two attacks, but without armor it's riskier as you'll bring yourself down to low health quickly. Now for the cards, starting with the minions. Firstly, we have Tricky Merchant. For 2 mana it's 2-1 with Death Rattle gain an empty mana crystal, like Loot Hoarder and Mad Scientist with a wild growth like effect, something you can drop down to store the early game, having a weak body out and getting a free crystal out of it. It's only 1 health though so very easy to deal with, and since it's an empty mana crystal you can only use it the following turn, ideally you want your opponent to kill it on his turn. On to Broodmother, for 8 mana she's 5-8 with. Taunt and Death Rattle summon 2-2 two, two Broodlings with Taunt. Similar to Sludge Belcher, a lot bigger with a Savannah High main type effect. If you can get him out on time, he'll make it very hard for your opponent to kill you without some direct damage. Next we have Fire Breather. For 4 mana, it's 3-3 free free with Empower, deal 2 damage. Or pay 1 extra mana and deal 3 damage instead. So like a mini Fire Elemental, he has pretty bad stats but a lot of utility in swinging the board back your way. Brilliant in ramp decks where you can build up your mana first in the first few turns and then play this when you want to regain control or stop a rush deck from overwhelming you. Now this one's my favorite minion, it is Skydiver. For seven mana, it's four four with charge and whenever this minion attacks, summon two one one dragonlings with charge so long you can keep attacking you can keep building more and more little one one dragonlings but at just four four he's pretty easy to kill so ideally you want to plan out when you want to drop him a six damage with continuous minion storm is brilliant though on to a much more defensive one it is ancient guardian for five mana it's four six with empower taunt or pay one extra mana and have plus one plus one and taunt instead. So very much like Druid of the Claw, instead of charge you can pump him up a bit extra. Very often when I play a ramp, you'll end up wanting to innovate things out, but sometimes have that spare mana left over. So this empower comes in very useful for that extra flexibility. This one's nasty, it is Deathbringer. For six mana, it's five five with empower, deal one damage to all enemy minions or pay 2 extra and deal 2 damage to all enemy minions instead. So like a consecration with a body combined together. Pretty expensive, but if you can get it down in time, can really help against swarm decks. It adds a few options to just having big taunt minions. Next we have Timeless One. For 5 mana it's 5-4 with Empower, draw a card. 
or pay one extra and draw two cards instead. So like Azzo Drake without the spell damage, a good way to put something on the board yet replenish your hands with cards. In most cases getting the extra card is really worth it, so you'll probably always want to play the 6 mana cost. Now we're finally onto the legendaries, this time I've got two and the old one from the previous Dragonite. Here we go. Firstly we have Rastraja, she was the one who saved Raytheon from the black dragon fight and whisked him away. So for 7 mana she's 5-5 five, five with, empower gain 5 mana crystals this turn only, or pay 3 plus 3 plus 3 and gain 7 mana crystals this turn only. So effectively if you spend 7 you'll get a 5-5 five, five for just 2 mana, or if you spend 10 you'll be getting an 8-8 eight, eight for just 3 mana. Great if you can immediately follow her up straight away with another huge minion. You can overwhelm a player, throwing too much for him to handle. Next we have Nixondra. This is Raytheon's actual mother. For 10 mana she's 7-5 with. At the end of your turn, if this is in your hand, reduce its cost by 1. So kinda close to the new Paladin's Bolvar legendary. You just need a few turns and to be patient, and she'll be very cheap to play. Silence has no effect on her stats, unlike Bolvar, which makes her a bit more reliable when played. Now here's the old one, it is Galakrond. He was the very first dragon. For 9 mana he's 510 with, your other characters have plus 4 attack. This includes your hero, so every turn you can attack for 4 damage. If you manage to swarm the field with a lot of token minions, his damage can get way out of control. So which of these for free legendaries would you play? On to the spells, firstly we have Tomb of Summoning. For 1 mana, put a random dragon from your deck into your hand. Now with all these damage battle cries, charges and taunts, this is great if you need another option to protect yourself, clear the board, or maybe you're even finishing for a finisher. Next it's Dragon Egg, for 2 mana, empower, gain 4 mana crystals this turn only or pay 2 extra, gain 7 mana crystals this turn only instead. So like in Innovate, you can't play it as early, but if you can pay the extra mana cost, it really accelerates your turns. Playing 7 mana minions on turn 4 might be a little bit OP, we'll need to play test this one. Onto a damage spell, it is Fire Blast. For 2 mana, deal 3 damage, or pay 3, deal 6 damage instead. So like a worse Frostbolt and Fireball mixed in together, not quite as strong but very versatile. You can use it early to clear minions or save it later for a big finisher. Now this one's my favourite, it is Dragonheart. For 4 mana, gain 2 mana crystals. These are mana crystals you can use straight away. So you can combo it by say playing this on turn 4 and then straight away a Fire Blast or any 2 drop. Then next turn you'll be on 7 mana, ready to drop something huge down. Next we have a weapon spell, it is Runesong Gift. For 4 mana, equip a 3-2 weapon and gain 4 armor. So like a Bite or a Hammer of Wrath, into a double swing for 3 and some armor. Good for some board clear and a little protection. On to a basic buff, it is Dragon Form. For 2 mana, give a minion plus 4 health and taunt. So similar to Mark of the Wild, it can be useful if you need to turn a minion into a taunt. Throwing this onto something like an early yeti can be difficult to break through for your opponent. Onto another damage spell is Breath of Life. For 5 mana, empower, deal 5 damage, or pay 2 extra, deal 5 damage, and summon 2 1 1 dragonlings. Do some damage, and if you got the extra mana, some spare throwaway minions, especially good with Galakrond. Next we have a direct removal, it is Rebirth. This one got reworked from the last class. Anyways, for 6 mana, destroy a minion and summon a 2-2 Dragonling. So very similar to Assassinate, but a bit more expensive with a little minion. Not the best removal, but a class does have to have a few weaknesses. Now for the last one, it's another weapon spell, Fangs of the Father. For 6 mana, equip a 5-2 weapon and gain 3 armor. So just like Rune Song Gift, a weapon to clear the board or do some damage with some armor to protect yourself. With all the ramp spells, you can get this one out pretty quickly. Alright guys, that's it for the Dragon Knight Hero Remade. 
Coming up, we have Dark Ranger and Elementist on the way. Don't forget, the mod's been getting a lot of updates, and you guys have been sending in a lot of artwork I'm dying to show you. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks guys, and see you all next time.